This is going to be a beginner's introduction to Synfig, the animation studio. We're going to look at some of the interface and create our first object. So let's begin by starting up the program. As you can see, I'm working with version 0.62.02. .02. Now when the program starts, you can see that there's four windows that immediately appear. Our main control window is here on the left, entitled Synfig Studio. Next to that is our Canvas window. This is where the preview of your animations will be as you create them. The other two windows have additional options for design and animation. For now, we're going to largely ignore them and focus on the Synfig Studio main window. Here we can see the buttons for starting a new animation, open an animation, save, save as, save all, program setup, about Synfig, and help options. Undo and redo are grayed out because we haven't made any changes to our current project yet. Under the file menu you can see some of the same options as the buttons we just went over. Our second row of buttons here contain our creation and editing tools. On the far left is our transform tool. This is the tool you'll want to be using when you're not specifically editing some object on your canvas. Next to that is the smooth move tool, the scale tool, rotate tool, mirror tool. These tools are for adjusting objects after you've created them. The next row of buttons shows different objects that we can create. We have the circle tool, the rectangle tool, star tool, the gradient tool, the polygon tool, the bezier line tool, the draw tool, we also have the width tool, the fill bucket tool, the eyedropper tool, the text tool, the sketch tool, and the zoom tool. Below these buttons are options such as color that we can set for our objects as we create them. The default is black for the outline and white for the fill color of objects. So let's go ahead and create our first object click on the circle button and go over to the canvas click on the canvas and drag out a circle on the right side menu you'll see different options on how the circle tool creates circles scroll down the list to see the different options if we select a different tool such as the star tool You can see here that there are different options on how each object is created and you can modify these as you may need to. In the top part of our side menu, you can see a miniature preview of our canvas. You can use this miniature view to quickly drag the larger canvas to an area that you would like to see. In the lower part of the sidebar, you can see your object layers. Here is the circle that we created. By unchecking the checkbox next to the circle, you can see that we can hide the circle on the canvas from view. This can be useful if you have some objects covering other objects on the canvas. Recheck the checkbox and it comes back as it was before. By right clicking on an object in the layers, you can see that we have lots of options available to us. Right now we're just going to do a simple duplicate layer. And you can see that there are now two circles on the canvas. The duplicate object will be directly below the original. Now let's right click on the duplicate, go to remove layer, and now that object has been deleted from the canvas. To save your first SimFig project, simply click on the Save button and it will save as an SIFZ file. 
And that's how you get started with SimFig. Have fun, and thanks for watching Penguin Tutorials.